Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and I am the creative coder. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a maze game. So let's start by renaming. Let's rename it as maze game. Now let's delete the cat sprite. Let's take two penguins, penguin one and penguin two. Penguin 1 will be the mama penguin and penguin 2 will be the baby penguin. Now let's upload the maze. I have downloaded it. Now let's make two backdrops. One will have as you win. Let's take text and put and add it. Let's take green color for now. Let's duplicate this and add game over. Let's take red color for now. Let's center line it. Now let's start with the coding. Let's go to the maze backdrop and start with the penguin. Let's set its size to 35. And the baby penguin also to 35. Let's add a when green flag clicked in the penguin one sprite. Then let's set it left and right. Now let's switch the backdrop to maze. Now let's go to X minus 210 and Y 141. Now let's add a forever loop. An if then statement inside the forever loop. Let's go to sensing and take Key up arrow pressed. Then let's add move change y by 5. Then let's duplicate this. So now let's check it. It moves up and down when we press the uh, respective arrow keys. Now let's do it same way for the right arrow and left arrow. Let's take an if key right arrow now. And let's point in direction 90. And let's change X by 5. Let's duplicate this. And put this as key left arrow pressed. And let's point in direction minus 90. And change x by minus 5.
Now take another when green flag clicked. Add a forever loop. Looks and next costume. Add a wait 0.5 seconds. Now place another green flag click. Then put a forever loop. And inside the forever loop, place an if then statement. And go to sensing and touching color black, which may, the maze game which we have. Put it in the color picker or the background and just focus it on the black color and click it once. You get the color now. After that, start sound disconnect. It is there in the sounds library. Then switch backdrop to game over. After that, wait two seconds. And stop all. Now place another green flag click. And then put a forever loop. And in the forever loop, an if then statement. Go to sensing and put if touching, if touching penguin 2. Then start sound win. Then put a switch backdrop to you win. After that, wait two seconds. And stop all. Yeah. Now, let's clean up the blocks. Let's go to Penguin 2, take a when green flag clicked and go to X195 and Y-141. Now go to the backdrop sprite and take a when green flag clicked, a forever loop and inside the forever loop, a play sound xylo 2 until done. Now, in the penguin sprite, we have to take a when backdrop switches to you win. Just duplicate this and make it when backdrop switches to game over. We have to hide it. And now, in penguin 2, we have to do the same thing. And I just duplicated it and then I'm making it game over. So now I'll just play the game to show you how it works. So now I guess I'm going to win. I'll just try it out. So now I'm just going to the egg. I'm just going to find the mama penguin's baby. So we win now. Yay. Now we'll see what happens when it touches the maze. I'll just play it again. So there's a glitch in this. When we restart the game 
and after ending it, we must add after when the reflectric we must add a show in both penguin one and penguin two. Now let's check it out. Now we know what happens when we win. Now let's try it out. What happens when it touches the maze? So it says game over and the game ends. That's all for this tutorial. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.